Here we are in DVD Architect, but this is not exactly what I wanted. I've already got too many levels, and I've got too many buttons, or not enough buttons, depending on how you look at it. This is my video from Vegas, with all my chapter stops available to me. This is what I wanted to see on the main page. So let's back up and start from scratch, shall we? File New. No, I'm not going to save that. Aha. Four different types of setups off the bat. Menu-based, a DVD with a menu at the root. Music compilation, a DVD with a single music compilation with video images associated for each song. Picture compilation, only a sequence of images with optional background audio. And single movie creates a DVD with a single movie file, which is what I have. No menus or other media will be available. That's what I want. And there's the file. If I right-click on the video itself in the Project Overview panel and insert a scene selection menu, seven links per page, now... I have what I thought I would have. Now all I have to do is click the Set DVD Start button. Now the DVD will start here. Exactly as I want it to. I've rearranged the workspace, as you can see, basically by dragging these windows around on screen. Not quite as flexible as Vegas, but you can get a lot of different looks. Let's take a look at some of the features. Backgrounds, buttons, and themes. Let's apply a theme here and see what happens. Ooh, I like that. Try another one. Also very interesting. Well... Something for everyone. Something for every taste. Quite a selection. Let's start with this one. I'm going to edit this text. I'll click the Edit Text button. I'm going to type in Presenting Wa. Let's go ahead and change the text of this. I'd like to make it a little bit bigger. We'll click Edit Text again. Let's try 10 point, too small, 18, too large, 14 looks just about right. Let's zoom in here and take a closer look. We'll make it 100% and we'll scroll down. Want to make this one a bit bigger too. Let's try 12. I want to stretch this out a little bit. If I click on it and then click on the sizing button up here, I get the arrows all around and I can stretch it out. Now, if I control click these, I can change them all at once. Let's make them all 12. I think we'll leave this one as two lines because it's the last one in the sequence. I think that works okay. Let's give Alex a capital letter. Same with slow groove, and let's put an extra space in there. Okay, let's zoom out and get a perspective on this. Looks pretty good. Let's save our work so we don't lose it. 